get all the attention today. You're good. I'm glad. Come on up. So, how are you? How's school? Good, good. What have I got? What kind of, it's a loaf of bread. It's, it's a loaf of bread. Now, what's going to happen to this bread if I put it up and I don't eat it? What will happen to it? If I just put it on a shelf and leave it for a week, a month, a year, what's going to happen? It will get bad, won't it? It will get old and stale. And if I leave it too long, green will start growing on it. You know what you call that green stuff? Mold. Exactly. It will get moldy and no one can eat it, right? And yet, I have a whole loaf here, because you buy it in loads, right? You go to the store, you don't buy one slice, right? You buy it in loads, I have a whole loaf here. So what am I going to do with it? To keep it, I mean, it's not right to let it get old and nasty, so what am I going to do? I can't eat all of it before it gets, I, I, I like bread, but not that much. I can't eat all of it before it gets kind of stale. I mean, I don't eat like a bunch of bread every day. So what can I do? What do you think? Can I share it? Yeah, that's it. I can share it. It's even made into convenient slices. So it can be shared. I can share it with my family, right? We can have sandwiches together. I could even bring it next week to when we're going to do the Casa Maria. And they need lots of bread because we make 600 sandwiches, right? The church makes 600 sandwiches. So they need lots of bread for sandwiches. And if even, even, if there's no one I can share it with, you know who else I can share it with? The animals. Animals like bread. If you give it to the right animals, certain animals, right? You have to give it to the right animals. But they love bread, too. Have you ever given? Go ahead. Walk. Ducks. Ducks love bread. And wouldn't it be wonderful to go to somewhere on the lake where the ducks are and give them some bread, right? Or you can use it for bait to catch fish. You can use it for a lot of cool things, right? So there's no reason to let bread, the food which is a gift from God, like all our food is, to let that just sit and get old. And it's the same thing with the love of Jesus Christ. The same thing. If Christ gives us all this wonderful love, and that's why we do the communion table, right? To remember his love. But if we just let it sit in our hearts, then it gets kind of old and stale. Why did we get this love? The same reason we have all this bread to share it with others who are in need. And there's a lot of people that need love, aren't there? A whole lot of people all around us. They don't have food. They don't have clothing. They don't have friends. They're sick. They're grieving someone who's dying. They need love. And Christ has given us plenty, plenty to share. So let's remember that, okay? And let's have a prayer of thanksgiving for all this bread and this love that we have to give. Let's pray, and you're welcome to pray with me. Dear Lord, we have so much, so much to share of all your blessings and all your love. So help us to live our lives with generous hearts. Amen. Take care, okay? Everybody.